It was on this date in 1951 that the Columbia Broadcasting System, CBS, started selling the first color TV sets. CBS had beaten rival RCA in the race for color by three years. The first RCA set would not be marketed until late in 1954. The Federal Communications Commission, just after World War II, set up a committee to look for the eventual arrival of color. In 49, CBS began surging ahead in the race, but its design had a major problem. You needed a new TV set to see CBS color. RCA was still trying to find a way to make compatible color that could be seen on old TV sets. CBS began broadcasting an hour of color every night for two years into theaters and hotels as it improved its system. And at one time, it got so good, the system rivaled color TV of today. But CBS had even designed a clunky converter to sit in front of black and white sets to satisfy color viewers. By the way, through all of this, it had only one workable camera. Sears was to have been the national distributor for CBS televisions, and it told buyers that their new sets could see black and white, too. But Air King, the company assigned to build the new sets, had not built in that feature. When CBS started selling its color sets 70 years ago today, it had not envisioned there would be that many black and white sets already around. CBS color lasted only two months. Late in 51, it gave up the idea and bought back the 100 or so sets Sears had sold. CBS said the government didn't want it to engage in unnecessary research during the Korean War. The final CBS original color broadcast was a North Carolina-Maryland football game. Eleven stations carried it. But it was not long before RCA had begun to perfect its compatible color system, and that is the system we use today. By the way, the original CBS color scan system was used to send back pictures from the moon. I'm Dennis Daly.